Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to come through, please? What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here for the collective? Okay. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. So it can. It's not saying that it is. Sta it's like there could be some complications here, but you and this person actually could be very compatible long term. Um, let's see. Okay. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. For some of you, I kind of feel like there's a lot of like holding on and thinking about like the past. And like obviously, you know, still feeling connected to this person, you know. If you see smoke, don't panic. That's just sage. <laughs> um, it's like you, you know, still feel like there's unfinished business there. But again, it's like there's a lot of pain from the past. Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. And retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. I think that there's... Okay, this is what I get. I, I feel like this is a person where you and them disconnected. For whatever reason... Your life, there's, um, you could not be together, or one of you was not ready to be together. And this person may have pushed you away, and you've tried to heal and move on, but now there's an opportunity. And it's happening kind of sudden, it feels like, to rekindle something here with this person. And you, I'm getting really emotional, like my, my eyes are, are like filling with tears. Um, it's like, I'm so torn between this is all I've wanted, but at the same time, I've been working so hard to move past it. And I'm afraid to get sucked back in and go through that same cycle of pain. That's what I get. It's like, I know that this could be something so much better, but in the past, one person was given too much in the relationship and the other person was kind of flaky. And like, you've both learned, you've both grown. This person wants your forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. They want another chance to make something work here. The problem is, it's like, can you trust them? Because it feels like you're afraid to get hurt. Okay, let me move some cards out of the way so I have a little bit of room to work here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Can you trust this person? Can you trust the situation? You know, can it work this go around? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here, please, for the collective? Your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom. It is general, however, so this can be flipped or reversed. Their thoughts about you, their feelings for you, their intentions with you, and the actions you can expect from them. Under the deck is the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay. There's a very strong spiritual tie between you and this person. Some of you may have felt like this person, you shared a really significant like past life connection. Like maybe you've incarnated and came together in many lifetimes. And there's this like instant sense of like recognition and familiarity. Sometimes lovers can talk about choices in love. But look at them here together. There's also like a really sensual energy as well. It's like... A lot of like sexual chemistry, a lot of attraction. Like you move, they move. I don't know. There's, there's some. They're just showing me something. It's like how in sync you and this person are subconsciously. You don't even realize it. Just how your bodies react to each other. Okay. All right. So we're looking at the two of cups in your energy. Like how you view this connection. The Two of Cups, it is about soul ties. You know, you see this person as a soulmate. Somebody who has your heart, who's always had your heart. Look at, like, this embrace. It's like two people. I don't know why I'm getting, like, this image of, like, 
you see this person in an unexpected place and you embrace, maybe even after a significant time apart. It's like I haven't seen you. And like when you hug this person, when you get close to this person, it's like you just feel so comfortable, so instantly, so soothed, you know, hopefully that makes sense. You really care about this person. How do you see the situation though? How do you see this situation? How do you, okay. You just don't know if you should trust it again. I think you're so afraid of getting hurt because there's too much that you don't know. Tell me more, how do you see the situation? How do you see the situation? I mean, this actually could be somebody that you could be with, that you could marry, that you could have some type of promise or dedication to, because there's a lot of love here, but there's also that fear, like, what if we keep repeating the past? I've took, it's like, I've taken so much time to release, to heal, to focus on myself, to stay busy, to, to move forward, to move past this person, and now they're here again, and I want to believe everything that they have to say, but can I trust it? In your feelings, Knight of Swords. Um, signs, again, Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, very strongly. Yeah, st very strong air, strong fire, a little bit of earth. Mm, I mean, I mean, obviously it could be any sign, but that's most prominently coming through. We have a little bit of water too, but um, there's this sense of like urgency. It's like you feel like if you don't give this person a response, you might lose your chance, but you need time to think about things. Like you're trying to get really clear. You want to be very direct. It's like if I'm going to have any faith or trust in this, I need to be very blunt, very direct in my communication. I need the same thing from you. I need equal um, reciprocation. How do you feel? How do you feel? This person has always had your heart. You, you're in love with them. And even if you've tried to move past it and heal, th there's, like I'm getting like, I'm sorry, I'm getting like really emotional. Like, I'm just feeling like there's all these, like, suppressed emotions that you're, like, revisiting or something. You love them. Intentions. Or do you feel like needs to happen, King of Swords? This person could be a fellow air sign. But you need this person to be very direct about what they feel. I don't know what. For some of you, this person could have, like, an air sign Venus or something. It's like... They do love and feel things very deeply, but the way they express their love is a bit different. No offense to my air sign Venuses, but that's kind of what, I don't know why that's coming through. Like this person could just be somebody who's very logical, very rational. They try not to be emotional. How, what, do you, what do you feel needs to happen here? You might want to know about another woman, maybe someone from their past. What, what do you feel like needs to happen here? Who is this woman? Who is this woman? Someone that they still have affection for? But you need them to be exp expressive about who they love, what they want. Maybe even apologize for someone else getting in the way. Maybe they married the wrong person. Advice or what you need to know, three of wands cards about yearning, waiting, an opportunity. There's going to be an opportunity to see this person again, to spend time with them. What do you need to know about it? I mean, they're saying that you can't know for certain how things are going to unfold. You cannot have complete clarity. What do you need to know? What advice is there for you? What do you? There's going to be a meeting and you're not going to know how you feel until you see this person again face to face. Like they may message you and ask to meet up with you or they may try to like run into you if they know you're going to be at a specific place. And you may be telling yourself, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Maybe I've moved on. But when I see this person, will these emotions get stirred up again? They're saying you cannot know how you feel until you're with this person face to face. And to not make any decisions you know, until you have seen this person, met with this person. Um, this person's thoughts about you with judgment. It's like an epiphany, you know, it's like there's some kind of realization about you. What is this person? Their feelings for you? What do they think about you? What do they think about you? What do they think about you? You're at a distance and they want to see you. Yeah, there's like news coming in, messages coming in. This person, you know, wanting to meet with you, wanting to see you. Their plan is, like they realize they should have given you their rose. They should have given you affection. 
they want to see you they don't want to do this online like they may be asking to see you or looking for an opportunity to like meet up with you because again i kind of get like either this person will reach out to you or they're going to see that you're going to be somewhere at a specific time and place and want to like run into you like oh my gosh i can't believe you'd be here and you're like well i updated my you know location you know an hour ago <laughs> you know or like i posted about it i tagged myself in this place museum whatever um they like want an opportunity to see you um there's a lot that they left unsaid it feels like with their feelings with page of swords they feel very inspired and kind of curious by you it's like there's so many things they want to uncover or understand about you what is this person's feelings they want they feel this like there's something very playful and like innocent about you. It's like now they may they may feel that maybe you have a child, and maybe you're very protective of this child. Maybe you have a child with this person, or but regardless, with a child here, it's not just about you know physical children. You know, it's it's about like newness, new beginnings. What do they feel? They they it's like they're hopeful, really optimistic that maybe you want to try something with them. What do they feel about you? They feel like things ended in the past, but they're hoping it can be reborn. That maybe this ending was for a reason. You know, release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Time alone will help you recharge. They have regrets, they've learned. Like the absence of you, it's like caused them to go through this like period of like learning and figuring things out. What do they feel about you? They just, they need, they need to see you. They need to be close to you. They want to talk to you. They want to ask questions. They want to get to know like what's going on in your life. Some of you, some of you could have gotten out of another relationship and they're aware of that now. Um, intentions with the sun, Leo energy, like I said, this is happiness. Playfulness. What is this person's intentions? Sometimes clarity even. What is this person's intentions? What do they want to do? They want to stay in your life. Yeah, that's, this is someone who wants to be loyal to you, who wants to build with you, who wants to be happy with you. Um, somebody who just feels like anchored by you. It's like you provide, like, they know that they can always trust you. And maybe they took advantage of that in the past. As far as this person's actions, we do see the Six of Pentacles. So for some of you, I kind of get the sense that this person is making some changes in their life. Like they could be moving, saving money. Uh, you know, working really hard for a certain goal, trying to like balance their uh, their, their life and, you know, rekindling something with you if you're open to it. What can you expect from this person? There is some kind of secret here though. What is it? They may have a child with someone in your time apart. They may have had a child. Or if you have a child with them, they're hoping to grow closer to them. They may not tell you that they're, they have, that someone is pregnant or there's a child tell me more that's not for all of you obviously this is still general what is what can you expect from this person like they want something to be more traditional okay for some of you okay i just want to say this and again please again this is general so take what resonates and leave what does not please don't force messages that you know are not meant for you for some of you i kind of feel like this person wants to keep you and they may try to get you pregnant intentionally, or they may hope that you'll get pregnant, or vice versa, you know. Um, so just be aware of that. That That's their ultimate, like, fantasy or desire, that to, like, they don't want to tell you that because they feel like that would scare you away. And some of them may not intentionally try to do that, but it's like, that's what they're hoping for. You know, even if they're not physically trying to take action toward it, they're hoping that that may happen, so that may tie the two of you together permanently. Like it's like their it's like their biggest dream is to like have a family with you, okay. And again, that's not for all of you. For others of you, you may be learning that maybe there's some kind of family situation that's been really um, difficult, or maybe someone that you could even be finding out that maybe someone lied to them about the paternity of a child, like an ex or something. Again, I don't do um, legal or medical readings, so please don't ask me those questions specifically. But.
surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response. This person might have been very defensive or like deflective in the past. And I even feel like for some of you, you might have tried to warn them about somebody, but they didn't listen. They feel foolish now. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's uh, strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. And surrender to worry. Make a commitment to not lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Yeah. This person, they feel guided to you and they recognize who you are in their life and that they've never had a connection like this with anybody else. They could always trust you and rely on you and depend on you. And no matter how hard things got, you know, you were there for them. And they regret. They have so much. They want another chance here. But it's ultimately going to be up to you. Okay? That's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.